Greetings and welcome, brothers and sisters of the dawn, to another episode of Let's Play Ground Control. Right, next mission. You did well raiding that craven base, Jared. I spent hours jamming the heretics who were hunting you afterwards. Our corporate friends are not amused by a defeated enemy who fights back. <laughs> I tried my best. Many gave more than their best. And they will be remembered in the eternal dawn. I've made contact with a group of our attack aerodynes. They are hiding in the Auroch Mountains. There is a Cray base on the plains near your position, ripe for the taking, so long as someone destroys their anti-air defenses. And my men and I will be that someone. There is no one more qualified. The key to this attack is to hold the element of surprise as long as possible. As soon as you open fire, the base defenders will react and close in. The AA sites are around the base. They are marked on the map west, north, and southeast of the airfield. Hmm. If the defenders are that strong, even without the AA sites, they could bring down our aerodynes with ground fire. I know. That is why your group is going to have to remain on site during the airstrike to suppress any Craven ground troops. I have seen at least one Cray heavy pterodyne in the region as well. Avoid it like the final night, and you should be all right. Forgive me, my friend, but when one such as you says should be all right, it does little to reassure me. I have trusted you most of my life, and this is no time to change that. I will brief my troops. My thanks, Jared. Your trust may be the most important weapon I have now. Magnus out. I've got a feeling Paladin Magnus is not completely forthright with his information. Not the very least he's not telling me something important. But we now have the Sun Swords to augment our troops, so yay. Don't have access to anything new yet, but I do get the special equipment. Personal med kits, good. Nothing for the uh, these guys yet, so let's press it. New drop zone. All right. Landing vehicle entering atmosphere. Mission update. Enemy is numerically superior. Recommendation. Keep your forces hidden as long as possible as you approach your targets. All right, so no stray shots, basically. I mean, in theory, I could set up my troops at every site independently. We will return fire only. But I don't think it's a very good idea to split up. Warning, a Craven Wolf Pterodyne is in the area and seeking your forces. Recommendation. Avoid it at all cost, as your Crusader squads are incapable of penetrating its forward armor. Mm -hmm. Yes, Deacon, we are moving. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was expecting. Can execute move, Deacon. Yes, Deacon. Alright, let's deal with the one. Wonder how quickly they respond. I mean, obviously I'm not going to be sticking around for that, but I guess Site 3 is probably the most difficult one to take. Move order also kind of wonder what kind of defenses the Craven have against the air. Yes, I mean, we already saw the Hue-9B missile sites that uh, the Order employs, yes, but what does the Craven use? Assuming line formation. Yes, Deacon. Yeah. No, UTA-9 missile launcher. Exact same. All right. In which case, I don't need you. Assuming box formation. We are on our way. is in our line of fire. Engaging the unworthy. Command vehicle is in our line of fire. Enemy Order received as you command. 
Squad One Taking alert. friendly fire. Your forces are now being pursued by Craven security. Analysis of radio traffic indicates that the remaining AA sites are being reinforced. Squad One regenerating. Well, that's not yes, that unsurprising. Yes, Deacon, we if you know what the enemy plan is, and well, my plan is obviously very transparent. Assuming box formation. Then that doesn't need to sound yes, like a good idea. Again, I reiterate, I don't remember doing yes, these missions. Well, most of them at the very least. I do know of one event that is going to happen, but I never finished the campaign, so who knows when that will be. Yes, Deacon. Uh, there were just too many games to play at the time. Yes, Deacon, we are moving. Yeah. Move order the reinforcements. Assuming line formation. Squad 3 regenerating. Yes, Deacon. We will move. We are on our way. We're moving, Deacon. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Squad 1 taking friendly fire. Squad 1 taking friendly fire. Squad 3 regenerating. Command APC taking hostile fire. Command All right, I got some infantry coming in. Fire. Squad two taking friendly fire. Order received. Squad three regenerating. Attack order received. Yes, Deacon. Affirmative. Hostile terror dynamic enemy. enemy. Command APC order taking received. hostile fire. Nope. Destination out of reach. Can't reach Squad three you. taking order friendly received. fire. Squad three Special regenerating. Command. We are on our way. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Squad 3 regenerating. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Squad 3 lost. Focus on the one that is most damaged, you doofus. Squad 3 regenerating. Right. That one. Squad three taking friendly fire. Squad three taking hostile fire. Hostile infantry eliminated. As you command. Squad three regenerating. We're moving, Deacon. Squad one taking hostile fire. Squad two taking friendly fire. Hostile infantry eliminated. We're moving, Deacon. Mission update. There is only one AA site left. Assume that the remaining Craven forces will be concentrated there to prevent its destruction. Squad 3 lost one unit. For crying out loud. Command vehicle is in the line of fire. Hostile Terradyne eliminated. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Command vehicle is in the line of fire. Squad 3 regenerating. What dummies do I have in these vehicles? Hold the line. Hostile fire. Squad three regenerating. Squad one taking friendly fire. All right, we got the main battle pterodyne. Hostile pterodyne eliminated. Squad three taking hostile fire. Squad three regenerating. Move order received. Hostile infantry in the order received. Squad three taking hostile fire. As Squad three command. regenerating. We're moving, Deacon. Squad two taking hostile fire. Squad three regenerating. Hostile infantry in the middle. Order received. We are on our way. Hostile infantry moving. Squad three regenerating. Squad two taking hostile fire. Move order received. Affirmative. Attacking. Squad two regenerating. 
Hostile terror dynamite. Right. We're moving, Deacon. You got that dealt with? We are on our way. As you command, box formation. You'll be doing penance for those vehicles you've lost, you doofuses. Kinda wish I could tell my APC which unit to heal, but for Score crying out I might essentially focus on just on the As weakest one. Box formation. Especially since I do not have the healing power yet. Alright. Never mind that. Yes, Deacon, we are moving. Just keep focusing on what we need to do. I mean, luckily the Craven forces are pretty thin around here. And hopefully we've dealt with most of the more annoying ones. Alright, there's... No, that's just things I can kill but don't want to kill just yet. Flatbed truck, power station, advanced power station. Uh, order received. Never saw any of those things while I was playing as Craven. Uh, then again, we were too busy killing enemy bases. Oh, no, 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 no. Fall back. We're not dealing with that. Oh, hold fire. I do not want to draw the attention of that thing. Right. Main battle pterodynes over there, and the air pterodynes over here. Squad three taking friendly fire. Command APC taking hostile fire. Squad three regenerating. We are on our way. Squad three taking friendly fire. We are on our way. We're hostile pterodyne eliminated. We are on our way. Squad one taking you friendly command. fire. Squad Line one taking hostile fire. On squad one way. regenerating. Hostile pterodyne eliminated. Squad one taking friendly fire. Hostile pterodyne eliminated. Squad one taking friendly fire. Squad one taking hostile fire. Squad two regenerating. Yes, squad taken. one taking friendly fire. Hostile pterodyne eliminated. Hostile Pterodyne on board. Squad 1 regenerating. Squad 1 taking hostile fire. We shall move at once. Squad 2 regenerating. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Hostile infantry moving. Squad 3 regenerating. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Hostile oh. control. Squad 3 I do hope my troops get upgraded from stormtrooper training soon. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Hostile infantry eliminated. Because we have got things to kill. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. I'm also not entirely certain I've managed to kill those anti-air air pterodynes. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Enemy structure destroyed. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Hostile infantry eliminated. Squad 3 regenerating. Squad 3 taking Mission hostile update. fire. You have destroyed the enemy's AA capabilities. Attack aerodynes are now initiating their attack runs. Recommendation. Suppress any surviving Craven Marine units while the attack takes place. Command APC taking hostile fire. Squad 1 taking friendly fire. We're moving, Deacon. Come on, show me your backsides. Squad 2 taking friendly fire. Squad 3 taking hostile fire. Hostile terror dynamite. Alright. Yes, Deacon. Squad 3 regenerating. Allied aerodyne lost. Yes, Deacon. Back order received. 
Allied Aerodyne lost. Enemy structure destroyed. Mission accomplished. All right. I confess today my feelings of resentment towards Magnus. Though he has long been my friend, and more importantly, he is a paladin, judged wise enough to function apart from the Pax Dei, I feel that today's attack was unwise and too soon after our last attack. Many of my men were still wounded and exhausted from the previous battle. I am sure the Craven base was valuable to the enemy, but I lost good crusaders today on an attack of dubious honor. We are the Pax Dei. We do not hide in the hills like thieves and then strike at static emplacements. I was taught that these are the desperate acts of heretics, not of soldiers pursuing the will of God. Paladins are said to be the moral pillars of the Pax Dei. But in the past few days, I have seen how disturbingly practical my friend has become. I suppose in the light of God's relics, any action is just. What is it about this planet that makes a man doubt all he has believed? Well, he does say certain things that the word practical is apparently not positive. Never mind, though. What statistics do we have? Still unproven. We are priestly, which I guess is a good thing. Still unproven and unproven. Yeah, stop dying needlessly. Ah, anyway. That'll be the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.